you can import videos from DVDs. And this is kind of a special case. The DVDs have to be unencrypted, or at least you've been able to somehow unencrypt them yourself. And then you really don't want to import directly from a DVD because they are kind of slow. And eventually, if you save your project and want to go back to it again later, you're going to have to put that DVD back in the drive to do your work. So the first order of business, if you're going to work with DVDs, is to take the files from the DVDs and put them on your hard drive. At least that's my recommendation. So I did that with this DVD over here. Let me show you the original DVD by going up here and going down to this DVD drive and opening it up. There it is. And DVDs typically look like this. They have these two subfolders, a Video TS and an Audio TS. In this case, the Audio TS is empty, but sometimes it has audio files in it as well. But in the Video TS, you see all these VOB files, which stands for Video Object. If you look at the size of the VOB files, you notice that they go from very small to very large. Well, the very small one there, the first one generally is a menu. And then the large ones are the actual video files in sequence, one, two, three, and four. You can see they're all a gigabyte apiece until they get to the last one, which rounded off this particular DVD. So if you really want to use these guys, it's best to get these files onto your hard drive rather than use them directly off the DVD. So I did that over here. I've got these guys on my hard drive here inside that folder, the same kind of arrangement. So let me show you how that looks inside Premiere Pro. So let's open up Premiere Pro. Let's start a new project. Let's store this project inside our exercise files folder. Go back to the desktop here and go on my Premiere Pro exercise files. And we'll store it there, select that folder, and we'll name this one, let's say, DVD import. And we'll skip this new sequence thing. Now, as you'd expect, there are multiple ways to import these video files. Let me start by going directly to the DVD via the media browser. That's a pretty good way to go. So I'm going to click on the DVD right there, we'll open it up, and you see those two folders. And I'll click on the video folder, and you're going to start seeing thumbnails showing up here. And it's going to try to process them there. It says processing. It's reading the DVD now, and DVDs by design are kind of slow, and you can see it's struggling a bit. It's finally popping up one image after another. So this just is a demonstration of you know, what it's like to work with a DVD directly rather than the files on the hard drive. So I'm going to close that down and go to a different approach here. Instead, I'm going to go to the folder I created on the desktop. And that has that same two folders set up. So I'm going to open up that. There we go. And now you can see how quickly it can process those clips right off the hard drive. A much better way to deal with video rather than dealing with it directly on the DVD. Let me just import one of these guys. I'll right-click on this third one here and say Import. That brings it into the project panel. So that's a pretty easy way to bring in files from a DVD. But keep in mind, these DVDs need to be somehow unencrypted. If you have encrypted DVDs, Premiere Pro will not unencrypt them for you. The other way to bring in these files is to use the typical import dialog box, and that would be File, Import, or Control or Command I, or just double clicking on an empty space here, and then going to that folder this way. We can just select one of these folks here and say import that way just by clicking on open and bring it in that way. So it's relatively easy to work with DVDs, but I recommend you take the extra step of taking the files off the DVD, put them in a folder on your hard drive, and then import them via that folder.